Ah. Uh, there's a place in your house where it's cool to chill, get some me time, or even cook a meal. It's your kitchen mofo, ain't no time to slack, so just grab yourself a penny and let's work that ass. If you're scared of this place, ain't no need to bother, just lay down your weapons and pick up another. Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome to my Virgin Kitchen. Tonight I am making fish cakes, okay? I'm not making um, a fish and a cake you know, baked in the oven, that would be disgusting. I'm making proper hardcore fish cakes. The recipe originated from Jamie Oliver's website. Check out the full link here to find out the exact recipe if you want. But I've tweaked it a little bit by adding the coriander, which I've grown myself. Wicked. In fact, it's overgrown. Got some potatoes there, flour, a lemon, egg, some mixed fish there. I'm going to use a little bit of that. And some veg. I'm just going to have alongside it. It's simple as that. In fact, this is ridiculously easy to make. You just need a fair bit of pans and stuff. Got a pan of water on to boil. Got a colander, a little pan there for my uh, vegetables, and another one to cook the fish cakes in at the end. It's kind of exciting, kind of quick, loving it. Oh, it's April Fool's Day today. Um, obviously, it's gone past 12, so I can't play any more pranks. But here's a picture. I actually put a fake parking ticket on my boss's car at work today. It's kind of cool. Yeah, anyhow, let's get cooking. Wicked. First thing I'm going to do is peel up my potatoes. Yes. Right here, so the potatoes are peeled and washed. I'm just going to plonk them in the water there, which is bubbling away. Notice how the water level is actually quite low. I'll show you about that in just one moment. Let's just get those in there. Wicked. Yep, they're all in there. It's because in a bit, we're going to get our fish and steam them in that colander. We want to make sure that the water isn't going to actually overflow where the colander goes. Otherwise, it's going to be spilled. It's just going to be like on a boat. So yeah, cook the potatoes away for about 10 minutes and then we'll add the fish on and steam it in a bit. So keep your eyes on this and this. Ta-da! So we're about halfway through cooking the potatoes and what I've done is got my fish and plonked it in this colander like so. Now what we need to do is grab some tin foil and put a lid of it along top of that, okay? Just going to sort of house it like a little hat. Yeah, so let's do that. Right here, so that's on there, kind of like a bongo drum or a spaceship sort of thing. What we're going to do is plonk that straight on top of our pan there and that is going to steam away the fish and cook it. So let it cook for the remaining 8 to 10 minutes. Oh my god, like that. Run out of breath. I'm not, I'm not. Anyhow, we'll let them cook away and we'll see you in the cooking time at about 8 to 10 minutes. Yeah, I'm going on a bit, aren't I? Yeah. Okay, so our steaming and the cooking potatoes is nearly done and there's a really fishy smell coming from there. Fishy, fishy smell. But... I'm loving it, I'm loving it, I'm loving it. Anyhow, what I've also done, chopped up my lemon. I'm going to use these two slices at the end to sort of squeeze it on top. But this bit, I'm actually going to grate, okay? Where am I going to grate it? I'm going to grate it into this bowl, which has got some olive oil and some pepper in it, okay? Once we get the fish off and it's steamed and it's cooled down enough, I'm going to put it in there, mix it all together with the lemon zest from half a lemon, okay? Don't really have to do that, but I want to give it a bit more of a lemony kick. Wow. What other thing have I done? <laughs> Don't let me get too emotional, but my coriander that I grew myself on this very windowsill, check that out. We grew up together. I've had to grab a bunch of it and cut it up, but the smell of it is amazing. It's literally, I've just literally pulled it out of the plant pot, which I basically have just done. And if I can grow coriander, anyone can, because literally you just plant a seed in a pot and it does it itself. You, know, you have to water it once or twice, but yeah, I'm rubbish with plants and I made that. So yeah, yeah, really cool. Anyhow, let our fish finish off. Our fish finish off, get it? Not really the place to do that sort of pun. Anyhow, let's keep going, keep going. Okay, so the potatoes are all cooked. So easy, in fact, I put a knife and it punctured straight through it. Loving it, nice and soft. What I'm gonna do is drain those off and put them straight back in that pan. The fish is all steamed, it's under there. Check that out, looking good. I'm gonna let that cool down just for a teeny bit. Plonk it in our bowl, as I said, which I've added the lemon zest to. Can you see the zest? Cha-ching which I've taken from that half which we talked about. Now I've tried to keep as much of the juice in that lemon half as I can because I'm going to add it to that veg later with a little bit of olive oil to give it another lemony burst lush. So let's get our fish in that bowl. Boom, the fish is in there and I've also drained off the potatoes. Now I'm going to let them cool down just a little bit. That's called steam drying apparently. I'll let it do that and then we're going to grab our potato mash with my friends, hack it away like that. In the meantime, I'm going to get my hands in with this fish Stir that all around in that olive oil, pepper, and lemon. Zest. Yeah. Cool. Right, so I finished mixing that together. I've got a bit of a fish hand, so I can't show you too much, but it's really flaked up because it was so soft and steamed. It's falling into teeny little pieces, so that's good. That's what you want, because you don't want big, chunky fish cakes. Uh-uh-uh. Now, let's mash our potatoes. I'm not even going to try and click because fish is going to go everywhere, so uh, boom. Super duper, that is all mashed up, and more importantly, I've just given my hand a wash, so we've got the fish hand is gone, and I've got my normal hand back. Hi, nice to meet you. Right, cool. What I'm going to do now to help this cool down quicker is put that into a giant mixing bowl, which we're going to combine with the fish, 
any minute now, so uh, let's do that. I can click now on everything. Right, so giant mixing bowl, let's put the mashed potato in. Beautiful, now let's grab our coriander, or as they say in America, at least there are other countries as well, I believe say it, they call it cilantro. Yeah, I prefer coriander, but cilantro sounds a bit more macho, doesn't it? Anyway, it all tastes the same, let's plonk that in there. In you go, my friend, live long and prosper. Our egg is here as well, let's pour that in there. In the princess cup, see that? Loving it. Salt and pepper, there's a pepper there, cha-ching. Salt. And then we need to get our fish on top. Is this going to work? Let's go for it. Yeah, it did. Kind of. On that bit there. Mm. Oh, you want to stay in there, don't you? We'll leave that there. Right. What we want to do is give us a good mix together. So let's get a spoon on it and work it, baby. Beautiful. And that's all stirred in. Check out all the different colours. That is so cool. What we're going to do now is plonk in our flour. Cha -cha 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 -ching, like so. And start to stir that in too. And this is going to help to thicken it. And what we'll do after that it's start to roll out and make our patties, guys. It's going to get exciting. Yeah. Okay, so the flour's all stirred in through there and it has made it thicker. What we're going to do now is divide the mixture up, plonk it on a floured surface like that, and make four patties. So uh, dump your mixture on there in fours. Like so. Now let's just flatten them and make them into patty shapes. Amazing. So that's all done. As you can see, they're slightly different shapes, but hey, I'm not really a perfectionist on this. As long as it tastes good, that's all that matters. What I'm going to do now is plonk them on a baking tray. Like so, kind of ran out of space on the baking tray there, so I do apologise. What I'm going to do is put some cling film on it as well. Amazing, so the cling film's on there and it's now going in the fridge for at least an hour. Apparently now this is the stage where if you want to make loads of them and keep them, you can just pretty much freeze them. So put them in the fridge for at least an hour to help them harden, then we're going to cook them. So I'll see you in an hour. Wicked. Right folks, that has been an hour. Can you believe it? That's gone really, really quick. Anyhow, I've got two pans on here, on the flames like that. One's this little shallow pan with some oil in there for my fish cakes, which are here. They've gone nice and firm, all good. And this one is my wok, also very hot, which I'm going to dump my vegetables in right now. I'm expecting a big sizzle. Wow. Here's my lemon juice that was left over. Pour that in there. Just going to cook those away. Nice. They're going to take a little bit longer than the fish cakes. These should only take a couple of minutes either side to get nice and brown and then we're going to plate it all together and it's going to be gorgeous. I hope. Okay, so I've just plonked the fish cakes in there. Looking good. They're holding together. Loving that. We don't want them to fall apart. That'll just be, well, that'd be quite upsetting. And the vegetables are cooking away nice here. All nice and soft. I keep stirring them round just because it's kind of like an obsessive thing. Just want to keep stirring things. So this should take a couple more minutes. I'm going to flip those any minute now so they're nice and brown on one side. And then we're ready. Right, so I just grabbed my spatula cha -cha, and flipped them. Check out that colour. I am loving that. All good. We've just got to let them cook the same side. Another couple of minutes. These are sizzling away now. They're really going for it. And we're so nearly there. Okay, so my fish cakes are done. My vegetables are done. Let's get them on a plate. First of all, let's get a plate and put it there. Just like that. Now let's plonk two fish cakes on there. Like so. Now just a little scattering of the vegetables along here. Cool. Fantastic. Let's grab a little bit of lemon. Squirt that on top. Wicked. I'm just going to slop it there just for a little bit of a decoration, although it looks kind of silly. Yes, do you agree? Anyway, let's see what it tastes like. Here we go then, guys. Got myself a forkful. A bit of carrot as well, just for you know, convenience. Here we go. Mmm. Wow. That is amazing. I'm absolutely loving that. That was so lemony as well. That burst was just like, wow, when I like, put it in my mouth. Yeah, so if I can make that, absolutely anyone in the world can. Have a go for yourself. Let me know how you get on. Put your own little personal twist on it. And I'll see you again next time. Cheers. High five.